Today's thought, Lord, why am I in this storm? By whom also we have access by faith into this grace, wherein we stand, and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. Romans 5, 2-5 Every single person has struggles. What God allows in a person's life is meant to help them grow closer, stronger, and more reliant on the Lord. The trials another is going through may not seem to be so bad to others, but God knows that it is what is needed to test their mettle. After successfully going through their trials, they will be able to face future storms that are allowed in their life and even encourage those with similar experiences. I was better able to realize the importance of going through trials and tribulations after examining a picture of a lighthouse. This one particular lighthouse was engulfed in waves, yet it still was upholding its important purpose and was where it would do the most good. A lighthouse is a tall structure which houses a bright light for seagoing vessels to see. In the darkest of nights or piercing through stormy weather, ships can immediately know that they are getting close to a shoreline or dangerous submerged rocks by seeing the tower's warning beacon. Although most lighthouses were constructed high above any danger from a storm's crashing waves, this one was not. This particular lighthouse was barely above sea level, where it often was battered by ocean's waves. The picture was of the Le Jumat Lighthouse at the northwestern part of France. It was constructed in a place where there were many shipwrecks. Between 1888 and 1904, there were 31 wrecks in the lighthouse's area. A wealthy Frenchman, who almost experienced death in a shipwreck, knew how important the lighthouse would be and financed its construction. Because of its dangerous location and tumultuous engulfing waves, the beacon was started in 1904, but was not finished until 1911. Its foundation was hewn in solid rock and barely stands out of the water. There are times that the 154-foot tall tower is lambasted by 65 to 97-foot waves. Many pictures have been taken of the lighthouse boldly standing with waves appearing to cover the beacon completely. Though all the hardships in its construction, it still stands and has saved many lives and shipwrecks. It was a savior to many because it was built with hardship in a place it was needed the most. If it did not experience all the violent waves it has, it would not be where it would warn and spare so many lives. Like the Lodgement Lighthouse, those Christians that have faced tremendous hardships, trials, weathered their storms, and are still standing are an important encouragement and boost to the hope and faith of many around them. If they had not gone through such difficult times, they may not have been the light that gives others hope and inspiration to withstand their storms. Most may not know why they face so many difficulties, but God may have used their experiences to guide others to safe harbors. Observing eyes are often on those that proclaim to be children of God. They are often scrutinized on how they behave in adversities, through trials, and in difficulties. When they react like the unsaved and scream, holler, and curse when in the pit of despair, the name of Christian gets one more black eye as being a poor testimony. However, those that may have had their foundations anchored by adversity enable them to continue to stand proud and tall after being bludgeoned by what the world recognizes as terrible experiences. They are the lighthouses that shine through the gloom of affliction. They are the ones that can give others hope that they too can weather their storms. The survivors of tremendous adversity also show that a foundation based on biblical principles can help others weather through whatever they have to face. Their perseverance and strength proves that Christ can lead the way through whatever a person faces in life. The pounding waves in your life can either make you shake your fist at God or draw you closer to Him for His help. How does the world see you faring through your trials? 
Is your perseverance through what God has allowed you to experience a beacon of hope and victory? Or is it a clear picture that you have no expectation or directing light to guide yourself through your trials? Be a Lodgement Lighthouse and show that God can give you the strength to withstand your ordeal. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. Psalm 18, 2. Heavenly Father, we live in a world where the security we once seemed to enjoy has been eroded right away, and so many dark clouds of unknowing seem to be looming on the future's unpredictable horizon. All that seemed to be so secure and reliable has turned to sawdust in our hands and evaporated like the morning mist. But Lord, we praise your name that we can entrust our future in your safekeeping, knowing that your love surrounds us and that your grace is sufficient no matter how black the circumstances of life may appear. Thank you, Lord, that you hold the world in the palm of your hand and nothing can snatch us from that secure position in you. Thank you that we are accepted in the beloved and loved by the Father. And thank you, Lord, that no danger may overtake any of your children that is not permitted by you and which will not be used to fulfill a just and glorious purpose. Keep our hearts from unnecessary fretting or worry, and in the power of the Holy Spirit, may we build ourselves up in your most holy faith by praying in spirit and truth and walking the way of righteousness. May we learn day by day to prevent our eyes from focusing on the trials and tribulations that are coming on the earth, and rather help us to look to Jesus, knowing that in all things he is the victor, and we are securely positioned in him through time and into eternity. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. We would love to hear from you, so make sure you leave us a comment or a prayer request below. Please give us a thumbs up if you were encouraged by the message today. And also, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification below. We post devotional videos every morning, Monday through Friday, and other videos throughout the week. Until we meet again, may God bless each of you.